Hey everybody, thanks for uh, watching today. Uh, in order for me to get to my Battleship movie conspiracy theory, you have to see this video because it's kind of where it came from, like where the, the seeds of this theory came from. This is the USS Enterprise false flag video, and if you guys have seen it, then just skip ahead two minutes because I'm not going to play the whole thing, just about two minutes of it. So if you haven't seen it, like I said, just bear with me for two minutes because you need to see this in order to get the rest of it. Okay, so this is where my conspiracy <clears throat> conspiracy theory, excuse me, uh, comes into play. I think this is going to trigger the Middle East War, the Psalm 83 War, if you will, in the Bible, and then that's going to trigger uh, World War Three. Uh, same thing as the Bible, because I think the Gog Magog War is next, and then which is then going to lead to the alien invasion. So and well tied in with uh, there's an economic collapse slash martial law in there plus a couple of earthquakes and natural big natural disasters but that's pretty much it this triggers a Middle East war then that triggers World War Three which then triggers alien invasion that's my theory anyway so then let's go to the battleship TV spot. Extinction event, the battle for Earth. We do have somebody inside. It's your ship, sir. You now. Begins at sea. I don't know if you heard that dude. He, he says an extinction event. And yep, and look, if you follow Ben and has been following the news, there are so many battleships and warships out there in the Strait of Hermes right now, it's not even funny. And it sounds like you know, it's going to be one of ours that's going to get attacked and it's going to start, you know, like I, you know, if that, that, that's if the Enterprise thing is true. But either way, you got and I, I just think it's pretty crazy. There's a whole bunch of aircraft carriers, warships, battleships all out in the Strait of Hermes, Strait of Hermes. That would trigger the Middle East War, which would trigger World War Three which would trigger the alien invasion. So I would say, yes, maybe the battle for Orth does indeed begin out at sea. And not only that, have you guys been to that, uh, have you guys seen this front page ad that's on YouTube today? This is from the movie Battleship. You see that there, shred your street. You see shredders tear up your neighborhood. You see like these little metal blades on this thing in here. Looks like a saw. And it kind of, you know, it's got, it looks like almost like a front wheel with the bar leading up to him, almost like it'd be like a chopper, you know, like some sort of big old motorbike. You see, like here's the handlebar, here's the other handlebar, and then here's the seat, and then here's the. You see what I'm saying? How it's kind of like, almost looks like you could maybe think it's like the front wheel of a, of a of a chopper with some crazy saw blades. Well, that's what the aliens are supposedly using. And then if you go to their uh, Illuminati car game, Yakutizma, look at them things, huh? 
little wheel with uh, spikes on it. Little wheel with spikes on it. Uh -huh. And not only that, if you read the card, it says Space Bikers from Hell coming from Orion on their interstellar choppers. Their bad vibes alone have already started tilting the Earth and its axis. Uh, I don't know. Let me pull that. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of far-fetched, maybe, I don't know, but I do absolutely do believe that the battle for Earth begins at sea, just like this here movie trailers, or movie says. So, another sign from the Illuminati? I don't know, maybe so, that's what I think. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to the first-time viewers for watching. Thanks for everybody for watching. Appreciate your time today, and take care.